Alright, I'll, I'll yell a little bit. So, for those who watch the news like I do, did anybody see Susan Collins' comments today? Well, I'm going to repeat them. They lied to me. So, I don't consider myself at the level of a Mikey Show, Tom Malinowski, other congressmen, senators, but I'm smart enough to know that there was no doubt in my mind that when this came up, those Supreme Court justices were going to vote to overturn it. So for Susan Collins, and I, and I mean this, I'm not targeting Susan Collins, but there's a point to this. If Susan Collins was a Republican senator and a moderate, right? She's considered a moderate, publicly said, publicly said, that's not what they told me in private conversation. So, what does that mean? That's right. Whoever said that, that's right. But that, what, is that, what does that lead to? That leads to Dr. Rosanna and Molly are saying, the two Congress people that spoke, Mikey Shaw and Tom Malinowski, we have to take care of New Jersey. We can't worry about Kentucky. We can't worry about uh, Ohio, Tennessee. we got to worry about Jersey. That's our backyard. We need to get our Congress and our senators elected when it's time. It's really simple. Yes, there's left, there's right in politics, and there's 70% of people who are not for overturning Roe versus Wade. They're just not. So if those people get out throughout this country and cast their vote as they say in the polling that they're not for this to be overturned, then we can have success. But if we're going to leave it to just 28% of people voting, this is what we get. We have to get people engaged to vote. And vote for what rights that we want to see preserved. And this is more important than anybody. Who has the, the authority to tell a woman what they can do with their bodies? I don't. And I don't want any president or any Supreme Court justice or any senator or Congress person telling me they can. And that's exactly what's going on here. They put people on the, on the Supreme Court that have an ideology that means very right. And that's going to be for a long time, so how do you combat that? You have to combat it by getting them, more Democrats elected in positions in the Senate and the Congress that can codify this as a law. Now, 